ladies and gentlemen, for the 700 and something at the time, <laughs> 18, I think? Yeah, I think so. The Mason and Friends show featuring that dude called you, a.k.a. Oh, my God. How dare I? I hate it. They That's all good. Fucking talking in the song. Love Fuck talk. You. We got it. We got it, man. We're going to keep it riding. Ladies and gentlemen, featuring that dude called you, a.k.a. His Junus. Hey. As well as El Miguel, a.k.a. That dude called Mike. Yeah. Me, I am Mahoney, a.k.a. Mason, a.k.a. Tell them kids to shut the fuck this up. Is this Tango Cash? No, this is Van Damme. This it is, is a Van, Van Damme movie. This is Can uh, you be more this specific? Was, this is uh, the joint where he's getting blind in the eye. Yup. And he's got Pompeii. What the fuck was that? Yup. He gets blind in the eye. Yeah. Like that's exactly what it is. When Van fuck. Damme got blind in the eye. It's not Kickboxer. Nope, it's not Kickboxer. It's it's Bloodsport. Yup. That's it, Bloodsport. This is Bloodsport? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a song and it's a song from Bloodsport. Because this is him. This is the montage song Fight right to here. Survive. Extended studio version. Very rare. Yeah, because this is when he's fighting in the fucking... The sensei is stretching him out to do his usual splits in the movie because he always this got is, his split yeah, in the movie. This is montage. Yeah. He's doing the splits and he's like trying to hit him with bamboo sticks yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, he's beating and him with the sticks. And he's yeah. blocking him. He yep. can't, he's got him blindfolded. Was, uh, he's got him blindfolded, dude. Yeah. No, that wasn't that, though. Da, 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 you must da, da, da. feel. I your thought it was taking on the cash. But then when he gets blind in the fucking ray, he's. Uh, uh, That's what he thinks about. Uh, 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 That's what he remembers, though. He yeah. remembers, I gotta concentrate. I gotta feel my opponent. And then, oh, look, I just happened to catch this motherfucker's fist right yeah. in front of my face. How you like that? Mad skills. But that's apparently based on a true story. That Frank yeah. Duck's character apparently did something fairly similar to that in reality. So. Hey, look. I went down. Yo! What was it? I saved this motherfucker. I gotta find this real quick about this monk that uh, died at like 82 years old and never saw a woman. What? Yeah, wow. yeah. I want to see if that I can pull man had up. no problems in life, though. <laughs> <laughs> never had a problem to deal with it ever. Never no pussy, but never no stress. Ah, yeah, fuck. Stress because really fucking, like, fuck. he was. The story was he was left at this monastery. The monks can't fuck anyways, right? Nah, that's that's, I think the, they that's can. the rules. Nah, I don't nah. think they can fuck. They're they're uh, it's a thing of celibate. Probably not even allowed oral. Fuck that. If I'm a monk, I'm definitely getting my hand jobs. They should be allowed hand jobs. Mm. But they swear to like celibacy <laughs> and all that shit. And yeah, whatnot. so if you can't. Yeah, if you can't fuck anyways, yeah, you better you better but, off. But better that's off not even seeing a woman. But that's true. But that's when you're raised to believe that you're brainwashed into thinking that you should just what hang out guy. there, and that's what it is. Because he was left there as like an orphan. Like he was just left at the steps of this he, monster. He was probably like supposed to be the guy that taught taught everyone in the world how to have good sex. You know what I mean? There's probably like somebody like that that just <laughs> disappeared. Like if he was around, Officer Hall in Tennessee wouldn't have been sucking everybody's dick at the fucking precinct. He's like real Kama Sutra. Exactly. Uh-huh. You have to learn to channel your energy. The cum is part of your right. life force. You share the cum. Is yeah, exactly. You experience the cum. Right. Calm down, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just don't keep coming everywhere. You just don't keep come everywhere. I know, I thought I saved this article, but apparently I didn't save the article. God damn. But yeah, he was left at this monastery and fucking like he was brought up and raised to be, and believe that, you know, into the, the, the belief system of, you know, celibacy and all this shit and the lifestyle of a monk. So the fucker passes away at like 82 years old, never seeing a woman. Like, you think his dick ever got hard? Do you think had he like? To have. Do you he think had he, to. I mean, that's just uh, puberty's what, gonna happen. But what does a 16 year old that's never seen a girl think about while he's beaten off? Even if he knew what was happening, because you gotta think. That's what I'm saying. Like, what is it? Like, your dick gets hard, and you you no fucking look. If, see, you, if you ain't fucked in 80 years. You might even get an animal pu- animal pucker in his ass, right? Get you get Mike get that thing jumping, maybe. Because you don't know what they're doing in the monastery. You, can you imagine not fucking for like forty years? No, I can't. I can't imagine. And then if you no. see any kind of 
anything. Just the hole in general. Yeah, a hole in the wall fruit. look good to you at that time. Yeah, fucking hole in the yeah, tree. Slam a uh, wood cantaloupe or or not cantaloupe. No, you was talking about pineapple. No, you was talking about pineapple. Yeah, you were yeah, pineapple yeah, pineapple man. But that would me. But I mean, they be doing <laughs> like they're not as exotic. The Peach G units. The G unit has experience. That's why he goes yeah, for a pineapple. He, he's going for the hard he, shit. He, he needs something like he with, wants that rough. He, he wants that rough shit. He wants something that's not conventional. Yeah, he wants things that are a little off the beaten give, path. Give a little burn, tie it up and choke it. <laughs> a little rope burn, you know what I'm saying? Like, twine burning. Yeah, he wants a twine. He wants burn. to cut your skin I'm off. On, it. I'm on a fuck a pineapple because that's more like getting twine burn on your wrist. If you know what I mean? <laughs> But, I mean, you never know what they're doing in the monastery, man. They could be fucking circle jerking in that bitch. Well, but that's the man, thing. Do you think they're going gay as fuck at the fucking monk monastery? Uh, do you think it's like, man, my dick is hard as shit. And it's, it's other monks like, hey, you know what helps? Hi. What helps? Come here. Let me suck that motherfucker. I think he's a good motherfucker. That's what they do. Straight for That's what they do, right? He just went like, straight in. Whoa, no hand job. Whoa, what, are you, like, what are you talking what you about? Right here, put man. that motherfucker in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We have, we, we have the spiritual goat downstairs. But like if the... <laughs> oh, Jesus the, Christ. My. The spiritual goat helps you leave. <laughs> Go in there. Home. I'm going to show you to the goat room. Yeah. We have the Tom Brady room down here. and uh... <laughs> The Tom Brady room. That's what that's bad. I go with that one first before that one. Like, yeah, we have the special goat room. This is our spiritual release. This is what we call a spiritual release. It's a physical release. Yeah, but you release it. You're balancing out your spirit once you release. It's your chi. Yeah. Your chi evens out once you release in the goat room. But then, 80, 82, 84 years old, <laughs> never having to see a female. So, I mean, you got to at least know what the female is. I mean, if you've never seen one... How do you know what that is? Especially these days with the gender. Uh, and if you're a monk living on top of some goddamn that's mountain. That's about, also you know? true. Like you don't have Wi-Fi. You're not like looking. You're not like, ooh, this. Uh, I like this Emma Watson. Yeah. You, know what you I mean? got to go by whatever books that they have in there that you read. So, right. Yeah. You're, you're reading about like like the people in the books. Like yeah. there's no pictures. These aren't picture books. Yeah. They're like, you know, the curvature of her breast. Like. You don't have no smut books going on. You don't have right. no Fifty Shades of Grey up in that Right, bitch. right. There's no Harlequin novels. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a terrible, terrible thing. But you know, the man is, like the Jew said, probably had so much a nicer life. No stress. You know, yeah, it mean? could be. And let, he didn't have any stress unless they were all fucking up there. Unless all them monks was all fucking. Each Cause other? You, right, because oh, you know. Man, yeah, that you, might be stressful. You know that uh, when, everybody, crack all the time. Saying, when everybody starts fucking everybody, it doesn't matter if it's a bunch of men or a bunch of women or a bunch of men it and women. It could be one of them, you know, blood moon like, orgies type joints. I'm saying. Uh-huh. Shit gets bad. Uh-huh. Then that goat gets a day off. That's right. Yeah, goat's like, like you know, the goat straight. sneaks away. Everybody's yeah. fucking everybody else. That motherfucker been chewing through that rope like he had to do frame digging a hole in the wall. He been chewing through that rope to get out. That's right. Shitty pipe dreams, man. Blood move. I'm out. <laughs> get busy living or get busy dying. Yeah. <laughs> now that goat's out there being a predator. <laughs> Taking advantage of shit. Come here, sheep. You're mine, bitch. Yeah, they're sheep fucking now. Yeah, he's got that. Oh, uh, that goes that fucking prison mentality. Sheep. That goes fucking horses and cows, cats, dogs. He'd have been ran through, so he gonna run through them all. Like fucking, he don't know what to do. He gonna go up to the first human and back his ass up on him. He wanted Jesus, Mike. <laughs> How that's, do we get to a sources right there? How do we get to a different source? <laughs> the sources right Is there, there a different source? Can we talk about Officer Powell's big, big black dick and Officer Hall and, and you you got got green your, Officer dick. Maggie oh. Maggie Choco? You got your, um, <clears throat> easy pa- early pass, early answer ticket already. I, I have not yet. You got yours? Yeah, I got mine. When when is it? When is it? Um, Was it cheap the nineteenth? The nineteenth. I well, mean, this it's, month? it's the twenty first. Oh wait, a minute. for what? The but ticket doesn't it go up like ten bucks or five bucks. I don't know when it goes up, but you know. I got my shit. It really wasn't no sale. It was the same fucking price I paid last yeah, year. Yeah, there's nothing special about there's it. There's nothing special yeah, about it. Yeah, but I think it's like 10 bucks cheaper if you nah, get it before or something, I think. Nah, you just got to get it before they sell out of them. But, yeah, I got mine back when it was doing that Black Friday shit that I thought was going to be like, oh, you get a discount on this shit. But, nah, apparently, no, there is I'm gonna no discount. I'm going to get mine tonight. I found mine. 
from, from last, last year. year. Yeah. yeah, I found mine. From now last you year. found. Look, this year, get that motherfucker and take a screenshot of when it comes in, because it ain't come in yet. It'll come in like a day or two before fucking. Uh, we got to go up there or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's the same price as fucking last year. Ain't nothing changed with that shit. Like I even think the fucking VIP shit is still is early bird pricing sold out. What? Yeah, early bird pricing is sold out. Oh, they the only pricing. sold them at a certain like VIP presale. Okay, is what sold was the early out. bird pricing then? Pfft, because fucking the price was the same as I paid last year, so it wasn't no difference in the early bird pricing. It really wasn't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like. Because the early ticket is still what eighty dollars. Early right? entry is eighty five on here. Oh, so it went. Up, I saved five dollars. That yep. was it. Yeah. Early. So I entry. paid eighty dollars. Be first in the festival gates includes all benefits of general admission, plus a sponsor swag bag with limited edition concert laminate and lanyard, access to federal grounds, or festival grounds one hour early, dedicated early entry lanes open at eleven p.m. Then there's Express Plus for 135. Includes access to the Plus Lounge, whatever that may may be. That's just a joint that's close to the stage. Mm. Plus access to the Plus Lounge with covered seating, sponsored swag, beverages, and snacks throughout the day. Express Plus gates open at 11 too. So it's either 135 for Express Plus or 80 for early entry. Either way, you get in early. It's probably just early entry because we leave them before the fucking show. We're gonna leave before yeah. I mean, who's playing? Don't even know. They don't have a lineup or nothing up yet. Yeah, there's some bullshit. Like, I don't, I'm only going up there. If to it's somebody name, dope, I think what uh, I'm Gentleman Tucker said was the uh, name play nobody, right? Well, I don't. He I, said that he wasn't sponsored it. He sponsored he, yeah, it last year. He wasn't involved with it like, uh, so, like it was. Yeah, he said he wasn't getting involved and with it. And apparently, like, Wiz Khalifa almost didn't show up last year. Yeah. And so he was happy to not be so. Yeah, involved in yeah, it. Yeah. I can understand that. I don't want to get get down that that level. But I, I'm only going to promote and yeah. fucking get seeds. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing else I need to get up there. Amen to that, dude. I'm going after seeds too. You know, just go up there, boom, boom, boom. I know what we got to do. We've done this enough now. Well, what's the difference between the early bird early and the early bird in the in the early entry? Okay, well, no, there's, early bird pricing. There's the eighty-five dollar early one and the hundred and thirty-five dollar early one. The hundred and thirty-five dollar one has like covered seats and lounge area for like the concert. Now, what I paid was eighty dollars for the ticket. So well, it's only, this, yeah, you know, this says eighty yeah, say bucks, five bucks. Early bird, early entry, eighty dollars. Where you find that? On the on the website. My <laughs> shit on the website said eighty-five. National Cannabis Festival dot front gate dot com. Oh, and then you. early entry says early entry ti. Eighty-five hours, but the the early bird shit sold out. Yeah, that's what I paid. Yeah, like and that's said. what I said on there. I've only the said all I say was five dollars. Yeah, you say five bucks, Mike. Big yeah. whoop. Yeah, that's what, what you gonna like, do with that? Buy a seed. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I if thought that. it was like five, and it get, keeps going up. Like I think at last time, it'll, I yeah, it'll go 90. up as it gets closer. It's gonna go up. Year. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll go up. I'm gonna get mine tonight. Fuck yeah, it. me too. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm gonna get tonight. But yeah, uh, we're committed. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? We're all going to be at the Cannabis Festival this year hanging out. Bullshit. RFK again? Yep. I think so. Yep, before and they tear it down because it's getting tore down after this come year. Come see RFK. Say goodbye to RFK with us. Because they already took the seats out. They, you know, they were auctioning off the seats. All the seats are gone. Oh, really? Yeah, they took Could've all the seats out. RFK seat? Yeah. I think you still can. I want a 420. Did it have a 420? Oh, you you know, got to look it up. You know that one's probably already gone. 420 and 69 is going to be the first yeah. one's gone. Bro. 420 and 69 are probably gone. But 69 will probably be 0, 69. And then whoever the players are, you know, players' numbers like Sean Taylor's right, number like 21. for Art Monk. And yeah, all the, the all the numbers are going to be gone because they had they were auctioning all the seat sections. Like you could literally buy the seats from RFK. I think it's RFK.com. And you can buy the seats that they took out. Well, good on them for trying to make some money out of yeah. that fucking shit. <laughs> and they ain't gonna do nothing with that place. Put some buildings, put apartments or something it, in there. They, it's been a toss up of a, a lot of shit. community center or some shit like they, that. Yeah, the people that live there want a community center. Other people are like, you know, there's no sense of putting like shopping centers and shit up here. You know, we need community center shit for the community because they like the playground that they got there for the kids and everything. Like, why don't we just keep this going? Yeah, there's a big playground. The neighborhood. Yeah, it's a yeah. big ass, huge ass like playground park. Like I didn't even know we didn't even notice until last year when we went up there and had to come around the other side. Yeah, because we came in the backside yeah. and could see all that fucking neighborhood. And I'm shit. like, well, shit, hey, I didn't know this was all here. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah why not invest in the community? Yeah. We came yeah. up in that other way over there by the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Like, it'd be good to fucking do shit for the community. You know, yeah. D.C. needs a lot of shit like that. Absolutely. You know, cities like that that have high crime rates and all that shit, they need shit like that. You know, something for the young... You need places to go interact with people and, like, not want to just kill them all. <laughs> not only that, but fucking... You got to have access to learning shit. Like, they had this thing I heard on the radio. There's a... Um, like, they're offering free... Uh, like skill courses and classes. I can't remember what part of DC it's going to be in. I think it's down there, Anacostia, whatever. But like, they're going to open up the center where you can come in and learn like a, a trade. They're, they're, and they're, you don't pay for it. It's being sponsored. It's all done by donations uh-huh. and whatnot by these big hedge fund corporations. They're uh-huh. throwing money at this place. Well, to it should be the sort of thing rich that the business, it's businesses that are in that area should also invest exactly, in that. Exactly. Because yeah. it's helping kids teach them how to be entrepreneurs teaching them a skill like they come in here and they're like all right what is it you like they, they got studios set up in case kids want to learn how to do shit with studio work i mean all kinds of stuff i was listening to i'm like damn they actually put an effort like this is the shit i like hearing about you know what i mean not the dumb shit but this shit right here it's involving helping people and getting this community and this area into a better position than what it's in now because nobody seems to figure out oh what are we going to do about this give people options and help like, if you can provide education for free where you ain't got to come out the pocket and go into debt for education, oh, well, man, what? Especially if it's an actual worthwhile education. Exactly. And if it's you, not just some If you're bullshit. taking somebody and teaching them a trade like electrician, carpentry, masonry, all that shit right there, hey, let me teach you some plumbing. You know, let me teach you some skill set here that you can actually go out here and, and, and be a member of society without fucking shit up and doing something for yourself. Exactly. Get yourself a little pride. Exactly. Believe in yourself. Accomplish let, let, shit. Let's like that's the yourself. thing, right? Like motherfuckers don't grasp the small steps concept very well. Yeah. You know, like we're seven hundred twenty some episodes into this. Maybe by episode fourteen hundred, this motherfucker is gonna be perfect. Yeah. We'd be making a bunch of money. You know what I mean? Who knows? But like, I keep trying to make it better. I think the sound keeps getting better. Yeah. And like, we keep trying to not be pieces of shit. But that's a small, slow process, and most people like want everything at they once. They want the instant, or instant. they don't, or they don't want to try. And that's like, it, what's worth doing if it's not something that takes a while? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, like and, even in a video game, right? Like you don't beat Red Dead Redemption in the first night, do you? Like, I, how long does it take to beat Red Dead Redemption two? Two? That's what I'm saying. The, the no whole game? One. Yeah. No, nah, you can't. What is that? 130 know. hours of video game play I mean, straight I'm up? I'm sure it's possible, but prob- but I don't know. That's got to be a long time, bro. That's what I'm talking about. But motherfuckers are going to commit to like living a fake life and, and accomplishing tasks that are difficult in that fake life, but they won't like pick up a guitar or read a book or like learn how to like fix the thing that's wrong with their car that's really fucking simple. Like hell, even the Jew unit has been practicing with a saxophone. I'm telling you what, this motherfucker Learn was hitting how to read notes. Music and shit. You the motherfuckers in here hitting notes yeah, yeah. the other day. I've been slacking on it. Hey, look, look. Oh, it happens. You I ain't really a- I gotta <clears throat> I'm still cheating because like I said, I'm learning low out. When I'm learning, I'm they got the note on the on the on the bars, you know what I mean? But they also got the fingers placement of that note. Yeah, so that's, that's mainly what I'm That's not at. cheating. But that is how you learn. That is not cheating. Oh, the other shit. That is how you learn is they're going to show you where your fingers need to be at when you're going to make this note. This is the sound that it's going to make if you press on these, you know, buttons here. But I still got to get, I need to take it up. I need to take it up into work because my boy that I work with used to play the sax. Used to though. You need, you know what you need to do? Drum and strum. Drum and motherfucking strum. Shout out to drum and strum. Go see Tim over there. what key that is for that sharp and I, you know. You ain't going to do this. If that's you that, don't that's go that to drum and strum. That's that sharp. That sharp. Look, go to drum and strum and say, "Teach me how to play Baker Street." How long gonna take? Because if you get to doing this, dude, you can do anything on a saxophone. <laughs> yeah, if you yeah, can work you this out, this shit, I'm fucking walking the street. You got the rest. I'm that's what I'm playing this shit. <laughs> he gonna walk up in the facts yeah, playing that I'm shit. I'm gonna have that joint hanging. When I go to the grocery store, I'm just gonna have that joint hanging. If I need to kick a note, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick one. Fuck. I'm gonna go hit it yeah. up at Walmart. Yeah. Dude, that's the reason Fuck. to I learn. Hear it if I'm playing the goddamn, if I'm playing the sax, I gotta go hear it. Yeah, I gotta go Wegmans or Wegmans or something. That is the reason to learn. You know what I mean? That's the reason to learn. Now get that fries. 
<laughs> That's Bust why I want to learn. Rofo, I want to learn piano. Rofo with it. I want to learn piano to be able to go out there in the motherfucking hotel lobby Where and break it down. Piano just sitting there, right? Yeah. And just just kicking on some some Stevie shit. Oh yeah. Is it she lovely? If you take that bitch in the Waffle House, go <laughs> oh, to a Waffle shit, House. Dude. You go into a Waffle That's House. Get turned up, bro. Dude, exactly. If, and, you know, what we do is you play this shit, and I sing them the request for the order. <laughs> I'm gonna need that scattered and covered and smothered and s- what was it, cap Mike? Yeah, yeah. cap. <laughs> and he wants a cheese waffle eggs. with bacon and some eggs and cheese scrambled, please. I'm there telling it you. Is. I'm telling <laughs> you. There it is. That's, yeah. the, that's the life, man, right there. If you do that. Have this motherfucker on a saxophone by the, by the flat top. Cook <laughs> it at the same time yes. while you're playing. Flip your <laughs> burger and go back to playing. <laughs> he get the order passed to him right here. He looking at it. He starts cooking right. it right here at this moment. Exactly. He's got you know the burger I mean? on. He's got He's it. Everything's everything. prepped. Yeah, it's all straight. The bun's ready. The fries are deep, deep in the oil. Then you know you what I mean? You. He's got the lettuce, tomato, pickles, and onion. They got you going over writing shit down. Like, right. all right, I got this, I got this, right. I got this. And then as soon as the motherfucking saxophone part hits, you hit He's him with like, this all right, now that all that's all ready. Right, here we go. Check this out, y'all. Wait, yep. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> we got a what? We got a correction. Got a correction. Oh, you want those fries crispy? Okay. No problem. That means I'm going to be able to play my saxophone longer. Uh huh. Once, once I get done prepping up this bag and everything, I see him at, at Foster's doing Yo, this. Yo, what we got going on? I, I see him at Foster's with a saxophone, like behind Foster's the scenes where at Foster's. It started at. That's yeah. right. I see he's, him doing it at Foster's. He's in the back where everybody's out back smoking. He's out there playing a the saxophone. Fuck, motherfuckers are smoking their cigarettes. Nah, but that <laughs> when you're out back by people smoking cigarettes, you got to learn to play something way more mellow and sad. Like this is like, this makes me want to. This makes me almost optimistic. You know, I don't you know say, what this so song is so about. The smokers got to be sad. No, 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 no. Okay. Yes, by the cigarettes. Yeah, he needs killing themselves. That's man. right. Man, cigarettes are bad. Man. <laughs> you want a sad saxophone ballad? Yes. I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> Something for the smokers out there. Something for the cigarette smokers when you're out at your break time at work. When you're working at fucking fast food or you're working in the service area. You're like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm still in this bitch and I ain't been able to get out this motherfucker. <sighs> fuck. I gotta go Glad back here for another four hours. Shit. This that bullshit. Wake up and deal with Peggy's ass this morning, bitch. Try to tell this hoe. See, this is the slow move in on it. You know, this, this the is ten, this the ten o'clock cigarette break. This is the Jew this is playing this next no, to the cigarette smokers. This, this, this is the ten o'clock at night break right here. Right. This motherfucker's like, yeah, damn. That's made through another day. This is this shit. is a guy that's working in a kitchen at a restaurant, and he's out back, and he's got a greasy apron on. He's got that Ben Affleck meme going on where he's just like, fuck. He looks like Ben Affleck in uh, Goodwill Hunting before Goodwill Hunting like left. And he's like (laughs) worried that he's going to be like old with him raising kids down by the pier. And he's like, I don't want to fucking do that shit. I'll be down by the pier. If if we're going down to the pier when we're 45 years old raising kids together, I'm going to beat your fucking ass. Okay? You got a gift. I'm going to be here. I accept that. I'm a stupid blockhead. Oh, yeah, 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 you're yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. you're gonna go do things, cause you got the brains and the gift to you do it. You got the gift to do it. Don't fucking waste it being here with me, thinking that it's cool to go having bar fights and shit when we're 27 years old. I'm in here still fucking flame broiling fucking burgers. And then he looks to the left, and there's the Jew with the saxophone. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, with the moonlight on, like the the street light. Right, What's the this, street light. Yeah, the street light. Yeah, <laughs> with a trench coat. For no reason. <laughs> and sunglasses. Yeah, if I'm playing sax at night, I got sunglasses on and trench coat for sure. Uh, ain't, no, ain't no way around it. Right. And ain't nothing no else. Around it. You got a saxophone, <laughs> oh, a trench free coat, free bus. a hat, sunglasses, God and nothing damn. else. I don't know about all that. Hopefully some Nikes or something. He said, "You want some Nikes or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your feet ain't cold. You got some feeling. God damn. Man. I don't ever have a dick out like that. Where are we? West Virginia? In uh, West Virginia, I think I might be able to get away with that. We ain't running around here. I might have to have some kind of draws on. Nah, this is Fairfax. You're going to go play. Oh, that. I need draws on. I can't You're gonna get Fairfax laid. dig out like that. Trust You're going to get laid in Fairfax playing saxophone by the cigarette break. 
Yeah, some but there's chicks. gonna be some indecent something. And I'm fucking something right there on the street corner if I'm out there naked in a trench coat. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be like a double X, something big. I can get some skinny thing in. Go on in here. Let's <laughs> get up over here. Run it up. Run it up when you get in here, girl. Some double X is yeah, like, ooh, I like skinny things like you. This motherfucker said I would get a double X, you stupid ass. Go you ass fucking retarded. God damn. Get on in there, girl. Just close it up. Close it up. I ain't, I ain't never going up. This motherfucker said, <laughs> they never going up. I would give me a double X on up in this one. God damn. This is so bitch right here. Oh, it's not big. Oh, man. Uh, you can't sleep on the big woman, though, man. Say sleep with him. Don't sleep on him. Sleep uh, with him. We ain't gonna get up in that, in that coat. Get a little warm. They it's still play the saxophone yeah, while you hear it. <laughs> Come on, girl. Just gotta go to the other way. You gotta lean the this way a little bit. I gotta have the sax going this way. <laughs> sax on one yeah. side, you on the other side. We're gonna make this work, damn yep. it. God damn, dummy. Start with blowing me. Try it out. <laughs> Man, he's a dumbass. You blow, I blow. Here we go. <laughs> so you're going to set the saxophone <laughs> on top of her head while you're playing it. It's just going to rest right there. Don't worry. I got the pad underneath of it for you. <laughs> damn, you still on that motherfucking J? <laughs> yeah, he ain't getting through that shit yeah, today. Damn. That's a Cheech and Chonger, like you said, man. That shit ain't getting finished today. Two episode joint, man. No shit, cause that motherfucker is loud. I think he did look that bitch at least five times by now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and still going strong with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, simple fucker. Love you, bro. Yeah, man, keep playing the sax. Get better, Jew. We believe in you. That's all it is, man. You can do it, man. We believe in you. <coughs> Baker Street, sad songs, whatever. I'm going to roll around with the spotlight on you and be like, look at this dude right here. Playing uh, a saxophone, man. I'm going to get on it a little bit today. I'm going to annoy my kids since they don't like, they don't dude, like it. Dude, dude. I'm going to get them back. Fuck yeah, bro. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm about to get the sax the trump over here and come over here and play with you. You know what? That could help you with the older one. Be like, look, if you don't like listening to what the fuck I'm playing, you know what? If you had your license, guess what? You wouldn't have to set up in here and listen to this shit. Well, he got his mic, so he ain't really... He ain't listening to his bad as yelling. So the other one is yelling so much because he broke his fucking headset? His headset don't work. It's not compatible or something with something. I don't know. I don't know what... I gotta go over there and Google it, I guess. Figure out what the fuck... Xbox and PlayStation are so difficult to play now. You know, you gotta have fucking internet, which you usually gotta pay for, you know, just to play the game on top of just playing the game. So that's why just, I don't do that online. You can't just shit. buy the fucking. You can't, well, you can't just buy a game now and just put it in and fucking play them all. No, nah, because you gotta download gotta be, it. It's gotta, it's gotta be, update. No, it's gotta be online. It's gotta be accessible to online. That's some they don't make shit. like regular games where you can just put see put it in. And didn't play I tell you a long time ago you should have just bought this little fucker an old video game system and all the games for it and be like that's what you got. Fuck see, off. See, I hate that shit nowadays. Like I, my son plays this shit on on his fucking iPad. I'd be like, yo, you mean? know what you got? You got a PlayStation Two with every motherfucking game on the planet. But he's got. I got him the 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 Xbox joint. My old Xbox. That shit just sits up there in the room. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, if you want to get something well, for it, I'll do something for it. that's you know good. That's good. I mean? Why don't you take the Jews kids for a couple while? You can make them like learn how to read books and shit. <laughs> oh, they come over, I guarantee you. Seth, Seth definitely. See, Seth isn't the problem. When he's by himself and does his... Seth's good. You know well, what, what I mean? the fuck is he doing in here right now? That's because it's with him. He knows... That he, when this, I guarantee because because this is on. So wait a minute. What you're telling me is if it was you and me here and the Jew wasn't here but the boy was in the room, he'd be quiet. Uh-huh. Because you would get up and whoop his ass. No, nah, I wouldn't need to. He'd just be quiet. Remember, so, we've so done this he, before like, with him here. He got this right and it has been quiet. Exactly. I mean, so like, he does this just because he's disrespecting his daddy. He does it just to disrespect his daddy. His daddy won't smack the shit out of him. Oh, he does, but I think he's gotten immune to it. I think I think bullshit. the boy has a tolerance now. He's toughened up. He's yeah. like his dad with edibles. I, I hit kids. Yeah, oh, and, that's and hits. yes. He's like, you gonna have to hit me a lot harder than that. You want me to be I'm upset? I'm telling you, the boy's skin getting tough. He gonna be a bully. You know that, right? He gonna jack this motherfucker up because he's gonna have a growth spurt overnight, like in two a years. A growth spurt overnight. He already had one. No, I mean, like, fucking like jump. He's that like, a, I mean, like all of a sudden, he gonna wake up and his fucking. Pants leg is gonna be up by his knee, like some big. Yeah, he gonna he gonna pull his britches open and be like, "Holy shit, yo, dad!" Uh, he definitely gonna be. Hey, when he does this number, be like, 
Yo, dad, man. That, that's when you know it's time. He's, yeah, no, he's going to be like, uh, dad, uh, remember all them times you said you could beat my ass? Do it now. So what's up now? Do it. Do it. Do it. You want it here or you want it outside, boy? Where you want it? How do you want it? You, you, you really just... Where's it going to be? It don't matter. It don't him. matter. He gonna, he gonna, kids going to want to bring the pain up on their dad. Now, is this is, this is when on. you bring the weapons out, though, right? We went over this. You're going to break out the weapon. He's going to hit him in the nuts is what he said. When the boy he has goes. the giant growth spurt it's all gonna and be he's out. towering it's, over you, and he's like, I'm going to beat your ass, Depends dad. how big he is. See? See this? See how big I am? Look at that mullet on TV. I'm State Farm your ass. mullet. Look at the State Farm mullet right here. See, that's what you need to do, bro. Look at that State Farm mullet. That's got that curls in it, dude. You need to get some activator up in that shit and rock with that. That's what you need to do. You should just get it cut. If you get it cut right and tell them I want to look like Patrick Swayze and Point Break in this scene right here where he's talking to Kyle over his shoulder. Exactly. Can you do that for me? And they'll be like, I might See, not be able to do it, but get, I know this girl over here can do it. Here's the thing. If you get your hair cut like that, you can then throw some grease up in that bitch and look like him when he's out surfing on the, on the water. Yeah, Remember? That's true too. When he's out there at yeah. night, they go night surfing. Yeah. And he's in that silhouette and against this fucking, <laughs> against the sky. And he's shaking his head. And that's what he's that's gonna do you, bro. The saxophone. He's going to be on a surfboard in the middle of the ocean with the saxophone <laughs> at nighttime <laughs> on a surfboard. That's right. On a surfboard with wet, greasy hair. And a fishing pole on the back of the water. Right. With and a this line shit. in the water. <laughs> he'll have three lines in the water with bells on them, and he's going to be playing the saxophone. That fish, they love the sound of the saxophone. I soothe out the fish with the sax in my saxophone. And they just get hypnotized to the vibrations in the water, and they come and I get them on the hook. I get them hypnotized with this vibration. Uh-huh. That's how I be doing the women at the bar, too. I hit them with the vibrations of the notes. Yeah, you're going to go to open mic nights and play sax for the ladies? Go up there and bust out Baker Street? Oh, fuck, yeah. I'm trying oh, to tell shit. you. I tell you what. Mm. He's going to walk up on stage. That's the line right and there. And then turn around with sunglasses and fucking the saxophone and trench coat all of a sudden on. Yeah. <laughs> you going to bust out. Mad fucking smooth shit. I bust out a little jazz. I brought up my drummer and my piano player. And now let me kick it on the sax for you. Something soft for Something you. Something smooth and sad. I'm going to do a little Miles Davis cover. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called It Never Entered My Mind. Just like your panties are going to roll right off. The lady butter. said, why would you do this? And I said, well, it didn't enter my mind, baby. Let it just melt off. Mad, mad smooth. You hear this tickling your eardrum right now? See, that's what you do, Drew. You You play that smooth saxophone. And I'm just tickling. And then you pull it off your lips. And I'm just tickling. And you talk real soft into the mic. Tickle, tickle, tickle. You say something like, you play that little saxophone, and then you go, I've been tickling, I've been tickling this here. Ivory. That's what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta, that tongue gotta smack the reed. That's right. I've been tickling this reed with my tongue. I've been slowly vibrating this here reed with my tongue. Because, see, any woman that knows a man that played the saxophone know that vibrating gonna be there. I put a little vibration on my tongue reed. He gonna motorboat my clip when he get done tickling that reed. Let me play he's the saxophone. Gonna, he's gonna motorboat my clit with that reed tickling <laughs> lips and tongues of his. I say, I say. He gonna go down there. Play that song you played on stage on me. Can you play that song on this here clit? I need you to play that. It never entered my mind on your clit. Let's see. He, he gonna he go end up pulling that one bitch that's in the bar all the time. That old bitch. Oh, yeah. The old blonde bitch. That's that sitting knows. With the cigarette. Yeah. She's like, you know, about 30 years ago, I hooked up with she a man hit- played saxophone. <laughs> so wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. She's going to be like, hey, oh my God, I hey, unit. This. <laughs> hey, unit. There was a time when I was back in in high school, back in college. They I hooked up. Me of this. I hooked up with a guy that played the saxophone. He you could do what? things to my clitoris that no one's ever been able to replicate. Uh, I think you might be the one tonight. You want to give it a whirl? She's, she's taking good. big long drags yeah. of Marlboro Reds. She's oh. still good. And she, she's like, she still gets wet. She's got that like dyed out hair that's not really one color or another. 
Tickle this. Come here. Tickle, 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 tickle. She's got lipstick on her teeth. She's yeah, like, come yeah. here, honey. Got that stain. Yeah. <laughs> Too much eyeshadow. Yes. Lots and lots of makeup. Very Big thick. Big hair. Very thick makeup everywhere. The gaudy right, ass she's ring. Got, she's, she's got, got the, a gaudy yes, ring on her finger. I'm going to have to take this gaudy ring off while I play with your cock. <laughs> but she going to suck your soul straight through your asshole. She going to blow your head the No, fuck but off. that's only if you work them fucking saxophone read lips on that. Oh, she going to know. She going to know the notes. Exactly. Hit that She's going to be like, I need you to play an E give sharp. Me, give me an E sharp. Come on. Give me an E sharp on my clip. I need you to play an E sharp followed by a G minor. Yeah, because she's still going to be smoking a cigarette while he's fucking exactly, talking about Exactly. She's still going to be smoking that she's motherfucker. She's going to be like, honey, this is my house. I smoke cigarettes in here. Yeah. Ashing on that motherfucker's back. <laughs> <laughs> on accident. Yeah. She can get ash, ash on him on accident. I'm hard. Sorry, honey. I was trying to get it in the ashtray. He's like, it's like hot wax. I'll deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, the scenarios you can put in, bro. I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's always going to happen. <laughs> this is you. why you're playing the saxophone, so you can hook up with an older woman. Yeah. She's going to be like... He's going to get that old bar hag. Let me ask you something. Do you, have to, do you like sticking your tongue in assholes? Because she's going to hit it with... I do. I do. I do. I, I do. do. You toss mine, I'll toss yours, honey. <laughs> Toss my salad, I'll toss yours. <laughs> this is dirty, ah. sound like. <laughs> yeah, this is a dirty old woman. And she sees you playing a sax, and she's like, you know, back when I was in college, I dated a guy that was majoring in fucking music. Her lips rubbed together, had a fucking flashback. Away That's right. Minute. She's like, hey, when I heard the way you hit that G minor... <laughs> I knew that you could do the same thing to my clit that that guy did. That, that sound alone just, just, it did something to me. Now look here, honey. I tell guys all the time, if you could do it to me, I can do it to you too. So, yep. you know. I used to play the harmonica. You make that. You make things happen to me. <laughs> you make things happen to me that are orally ecstatic. I will return the favors. But you got to earn that, honey. <laughs> yeah. You got to get down there and earn it. That you would be like, uh, what's that movie? Uh, well, all right, then. <laughs> <laughs> that's what would come out. Well, all right, then. Yeah, she's going to talk poetic for five minutes about yeah. how he's going to have to go down on her. And she, yeah, and that's what the response would be. All right, all right, all right then. then. Well, so when we leaving? Yeah, appreciate you. Where are we going? Appreciate you. Where are we going now? <laughs> Where's this happening? Let's get on out of My here. Man. And she's going to be like, oh, you mean the pitch worked? Uh, yeah, like, I, I ain't bullshitting. Yeah, you, yeah, you want to see this thing? You I can do this. I can play this. <laughs> yeah, so. you, heard, you heard me play it on stage. You heard me playing. I, I, I appreciate the way you've been so forward, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I ain't never had a bitch be so forward. So uh, Yeah, I ain't looking to marry you. You ain't looking to marry right. me. Let's go ahead and do this. You already laid out what the uh, expectation yeah. is, and uh, matter of fact, I think I can handle that. Here, come on here, girl. I got this. You said G sharp? I got you. Yeah, G sharp in the E minor. You got you. No problem. I got that. Come right on up. I got a G sharp in the E minor. I know what key to hit. Mm-hmm. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> Here, it's just like that, right? I got you. Then you got to whisper in the air. Uh-huh. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, he ignored us now. Like, hey. I ain't pay y'all fools no goddamn mind. Look at yep. <laughs> Tuning us out, man. Oh, shit. It's all right. I see how it is. <laughs> oh. I have y'all rant. Because you, you see it all in your head working out. Because, look, when it happens, you're like, man, the motherfucker said this is going to happen. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, as Let me it's go do this. as it's happening, like it's like a year and a half, two years from now, he's gonna be at a bar with his saxophone around his neck after playing, yep. and some some lady's gonna walk up, and she might not sound like the woman we're talking about, but she's gonna have the characteristics, right? She's gonna have the basic gist of it. It might not be I was in college and dated a guy that majors. She'll in have fucking, them like yeah. orange burnt titties, you know, the leathery looking titties, right. but she's gonna have the big ass titties pushed up like a horse lady that's been yeah. in the fucking sun for yeah. way yep. too much. That's it. You get a horse chick. Right. You're going to have a horse chick that had a guy one time that played the sax and did things that she hasn't had done since. And she's curious if you can make those things replicate because you played the sax 
astoundingly similar to that gentleman. And you know I'm an equestrian. I can ride horses. An equestrian. Yeah, 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 yeah. An equestrian. Yeah, you know what I, I was love fucking it. saying. I love it, Mike. <laughs> I love it when you mispronounce words. Oh my fucking you know, god. Yeah, hey, come here. I can ride that thing. Look, I that's got like, the saddle ready. Like velvet, that's a really drunk hammered. girl. Yeah, She's yeah. like an older lady that's really drunk. I'm an equestrian. Yeah. So I'm look, if you if you can make this thing happen, I I'll can ride, ride you that this Sunday. And I, I'll ride you all the way out of town. I'll show you what this old thing can do. Saddle up, motherfucker. You ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it takes, honey. One good a e minor to g sharp yeah. back and forth a yeah. g minor e sharp g minor e sharp you're gonna have me yelling giddy up a giggity giggity goo yeah that's the truth man that's what's gonna happen dude you wait because you're gonna be out there baker street and hitting on all of them you're gonna go hit your three your three joints it's because if you learn Baker oh, Street no and shit. sing the song, and we get you to learn your own Baker Street and sing that shit, and you go to the open mics and play Baker Street, but sing your version, dude, what you do, they'll, they'll, that's how you close, right? They'll let them smoke a J in the club to the heads are in the corner. It's my set. That gets you a lot of fucking space to do shit. <laughs> and he's going to flick set. it just like it. Yeah, that, right. This is my set. You want that? <laughs> yeah. That, and she's going to be the one to catch it. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. Oh, my. JJ. He's, he's up there. Let yeah. me finish that. Let me finish that blunt. And she's going to be sitting there looking at her lips. <laughs> <laughs> Superman. <laughs> Tastes like fried chicken and liquor. My favorite I, kind of I, man. My kind of man. My favorite yeah. kind of man. <laughs> this joint tastes like weed fried chicken and liquor. My yeah. favorite kind of man. Does she know what it tastes like. Too? You, she been around a, long enough. Do you have a shitty truck as well? <laughs> I love guys with shitty trucks that taste like liquor and fucking weed and chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. She wouldn't even take him home. She'd fuck him in the alleyway by the trash can. That's it exactly. Yeah, she wouldn't wait to get yeah. home. She's like, "Fuck it." Yeah, no, she's like blowing him in the car. Yeah, like yeah. for real. She's like, "Yeah, honey, I'm gonna go on and get the spotty started." Don't even pull out the parking space. <laughs> I got you right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you parked over there. That's a perfect place. Yeah, that's where I used to get it. That's the best place for me to suck your dick in the car. <laughs> yeah. Right under that street light you parked at. Leave the light on. I like. You know what the, the problem with it. that is? She knows she can't do that because if she sucks you off in the car. Then you might just be like, you know what? I need to go. No, nah, I can't listen to you anymore. He's not that kind of person. Are you? If she blows you to he completion would, yeah. in the car, he, he, are he, you uh, still going home with her? Was that the plan? Uh, yeah, that was the plan. What's the plan? The plan was What's to go plan home for with her. Blow and go, or the plan no. was plan no. was to go home with her and bang her and uh, like yeah, like do I mean, the E still, and the G she, to do. She's the, still well put together. She wants you to do the E and the G on her clit. But she's getting excited about it. So now she blows you in the car. It's like you agreed to go home and do the E and the G on the clit. But then she sucks you off in the car. So are you still going to go home and do the E and the G? She's like, I'm going to get in my car. Follow me. Are you going to like not follow her now that you're like balls are fucking drained? No, nah, no. Nah, because by the time I get there, we. You're a good man. Yeah, see, I'm you're saying. Good man. Back in the game. I think I might have gone. I think I might dip on that one. Unless she was <laughs> real. Are, man. Unless, you, unless, you, unless she on. was real ratchet you as hell. Dip. She just, sounds ratchet to me. Like, well, unless she has, some, unless you know, unless she really has some shit going, you know what I mean? No, I, and I started you fucking bash because she, I tell you, she built right. She's if like she an sucks old the dick school, right, yeah. And that's no, not even that. Like she fucking got that old school body. Like she really ain't got too much of an ass, but she got a nice set of tits on her. She's still put together well. She's big. She's thicker. Like yeah. you like them. She has. She's, she, thick. she's she's got three kids and four grandbabies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what if this is a fat chick with a hot face, it's like four, you want? Four like, grandbabies. <laughs> she's yeah. got four grandbabies. <laughs> <God, God. laughs> <sighs> but she's living her life. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, she's living her best life. She's like, you can come over later, but not till the grandbabies get picked up by Sarah. <laughs> Who's like, Sarah? Oh, that's my that's my daughter. <laughs> like he. he She's gonna have cookies there. You know she's got cookies. Yeah, you know that. She got grandbabies and she's kids. Got, she cookies. got cookies around. So you know you get the cookie. Or cake or something. Yeah. Pie or something. something. 
Now, does that make you stick around? Oh, of course he is, man. Pie? You don't like pie? Well, I don't really like pumpkin pie all that much. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just schematics. <laughs> Apple semantics, pie. Mike. Semantics. Cherry. Semantics. Semantics. Close not to schematics. Not schematics. God damn you with your fucking wrong words. <laughs> words matter. Bro. Read a book. You need to read a book too, I motherfucker. Read. I use schematics at work, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't use the other one with semantics. I don't use semantics at work. I do real life. I, you know. Yeah, he does semantics on the show here. If you're retarded, I'll tell you you're retarded. Uh, oh Jesus. Man, but she gonna be ready. You still go. You're you're not gonna be a complete douche. No, yeah, no. He's excited. Yeah. She blew him in the car. He's going over. Yeah. Like whatever. Whatever else happens after that, it's gonna be all right. Ladies and gentlemen, with that said. Uh huh. We're gonna have to bring this episode of the Mason and Friends show to a close. Oh yeah. I'd like to encourage you to listen to old episodes as well as new episodes. Like, share, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Don't bogart this bitch. Tell your peoples about us. Help move us up the algorithms. Uh huh. And uh, you know, keep grinding on the shit you're trying to get done because that is how things get done. Uh huh. We believe in you. That's right. And uh, protect your mental health. Protect your energy. Protect yourself. All yeah. that shit, man. Go to therapy with your crazy ass if that's what you need. A little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Keep moving forward with it. That's right. Don't forget, we love you very much. Love y'all. And peace be with you. Go. Peace.